Hey YouTube, what's going on? Buddy Lee here, and today we have uh, an installation video. Um, I had a package come in the mail a couple of days ago from GladesArmory.com, and uh, what I ordered was a new bolt handle for my Savage 11 VT. This is to replace the uh, the factory bolt handle um, that came with the rifle. Um, not a big fan of it. It's just it uh just wish it was slightly bigger, maybe more or less a bit longer. It's just really hard to uh hard to manipulate and I wanted this because of uh I guess the grips may help a little bit here, but more or less for the length that way I can get a good throw on it. Um as I said before I ordered this through gladesarmory.com and they have it appears to be an assortment of different bolt handles for Tika, Ruger, and Savage. And uh, they all have a various assortment of different types of bolt handles for each product. Um, I happen to go with this one here. Um, this one does unscrew. If, um, if you want to go ahead and replace the bolt handles, uh, the knobs, they do sell the knobs separately for people who do purchase the handles that are threaded. This is going to be a fairly easy uh, installation. I've already done this um, last night to kind of get an idea of it. Um, more or less, actually, because breaking the torque on this Allen key right here, if you can catch that, is uh, extremely difficult if this is your first time doing it. So I wanted to get the torque broken on it. That way I wasn't fighting with it on camera. Um, so obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is pull your bolt out of out of your Savage. And it's going to look just like this. Now you have your uh, Allen key right here, but you have your, um, I guess your cocking indicator or whatever it may be right here that's taking up that space. What you need to do is Take your thumb and just push that decocking lever down and now you have access to that. Now it's going to be a quarter inch Allen key and uh, it's going to fit right in there and it, come, and it unscrews right off. Now, as I said before, if this is your first time doing it, it's going to be um, quite difficult, especially if you don't have a vice um, which is something I don't have. So what I did was I set my bolt down just like this. I oriented my Allen key ooh, along uh, about like that. Maybe more or less like that. Okay. Hung it over the edge of my reloading bench and what I did was I took, um, I got a four inch uh, forged C clamp and I put the bottom of the C clamp on the bottom of my reloading bench here. I put the top of it here and I just slowly uh, holding down the back of the bolt, um, <clears throat> excuse me, tightened it down until it broke the torque and that's what got it off for me. Um, I fought with it like hell to get it by hand and I just couldn't, uh, couldn't get it. So, um, if you have a vice, I think it'll help a lot more. C clamp, or um, just make sure you eat your Wheaties or something that morning because it is quite difficult to do. Anyway, once you break the torque, let's go ahead and start um, spinning this off. Now, there is a spring in here. It's not under any type of load, but you also don't want it to pop out. So, what I did was I just put my two fingers on here like this while I was unscrewing it. There you go. So you see there's that spring right there and just carefully set this to the side. Now remember the orientation of the bolt. We have the Savage logo here and it, uh, the bolt knob is facing upwards. So we're going to carefully just 
pull it out like that. Now your bolt is going to have a flush end, and on the other side it's going to have a bunch of cutouts. Okay. Same with your one you just ordered. It's going to have your flush end and your end with all the cutouts. So we're going to put that back on there, just like that. Make sure the flush side is up, and it's still uh, in correct orientation as before, like I said, with the Savage logo here and the bolt handle up. And simply tighten that back in. Um, it didn't come with any uh, torque specifications at all. As a matter of fact, it came in a padded uh, manila envelope inside of a small Ziploc bag in, um, in an order form. <clears throat> and that was... Uh, and that was really it. So with it, how tight it was before, um, I would say go ahead and put a pretty liberal amount of torque on there because you don't want it flying off. Now, um, your buffer may move around a bit. Just If that's the case, not a worry. Just uh, spin it until the ball bearing's catching the groove where it's supposed to be. Uh, now you have your decocking spring or lever, whatever it is right here. This is kind of a pain in the butt to get to, so um, you're gonna want a pretty large blunt object. And we're just gonna push this back. Ooh, up into place like that. Now, you should have that area where your Allen key was um, nice and flush. Coming over here, you want to make sure that these parts here, because this is kind of free-floating, you want to make sure that's lined up, just like that, and then slide it back into your bolt. Um, I've seen a couple videos online where some guys had to take a Dremel to the stock itself to make room for this part right here because the bolt wouldn't close all the way, but I've already tested it in my rifle, and it shuts um, completely. Um, I actually... Well, I wanted to say I actually thought it was a little bit narrower than, uh, actually, yeah, I think it is where the uh, bolt handle meets the actual stock itself. I want to say it's actually a little bit thinner than the manufacturer. Um, definitely is a lot more lightweight, so it should be easier to manipulate. But uh, if you happen, if it doesn't close all the way, I would uh, reference other videos. And like I said, they're simply just taking a Dremel tool to it. And honing out a little bit of material at a time until the bolt closes all the way down. So um, that's it for here. It's, like I guess it's going to be a real quick video. This was a, an installation of uh, the new um, tactical bolt handle for um, my Savage from Glades Armory. Let me get the part number in case you like this one. have a part number but it is advertised as savage tactical bolt handle right hand black with 1.7 inch black cross hash tactical knob it uh, retails for $62.99 and it shipped pretty quick um, even with the real crappy weather we've been having lately I've actually I've, I've actually got quite a few packages that I'm waiting to get in the mail um, right now but weather is really really uh, holding me up on that right now. So um, I will leave a link to gladesarmory.com in the description below. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.